Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in this video we're going to be looking at how we can take a group of learners that we want to split into different classes maybe based on a specific criteria maybe you are a subject head or a head of the department that needs to split your classes amongst other teachers so you want to know how you can do it um, evenly and try to do it as quickly as possible using Excel. So let's first of all there are five steps you don't have to do all the steps um, I've added one or two extra ones that are optional which but you can look at the steps I've written them up there so we're going to go through those five steps um, you do need to know a little bit of Excel to be able to do it but it's not too difficult you can just copy what I'm doing to get the same results so first of all you need a list of all your students and you need to have whatever your criteria is that you are going to divide them or, or base them on maybe you want to have every class to have uh, a, a, a range of students from the top, the middle, the bottom. So you want to evenly distribute them based on criteria. You don't want all the top students in one class. You don't want all the bottom ones in the bottom. If you're doing something like that, um, you need to find out what your criteria is. So maybe you base it on a language mark. Maybe you base it on a mathematical mark. Maybe you base it on an average. Now, if you were streaming the classes, um, then it's very easy. Then you just sort it by whatever you're looking for. So we're going to do that anyway. We, let's say we're going to sort it uh, by the average. We want to find all the top students here, all the middle in the middle, and all the bottoms at the bottom. So I'm going to first sort it by my criteria. So I'm going to select everything, including the headings, because that makes my life a little bit easier. And so you've got all this data here, a whole bunch of students there. So how do we sort all this data? Well, I'm going to come here to sort. And I'm going to get get used to sort using the custom sort because it provides a bit more options. Now, my data does have headings. That's why I selected it. So that's why that's ticked. So that means when I sort it, it actually gives me the heading names here. So I actually want to sort it by average. And I want the, the, the highest mark to be at the top. So sort by highest and then go, OK, boom. So there we go. So now I've sorted it. Now the top students at the top and the bottom students at the bottom. Please note these are random names and random numbers. So these aren't actual people that I know. I just randomly made up these names on, from a website. So let's have a look. So there's the top. Now if you were streaming, let's say you wanted the first so many, let's say 20 students that you wanted, then you can go one, two, three, and you want to divide them in groups of 20. So you can type one, two, three, and then you can drag. This is the allocating numbers step. Allocate numbers. And I can drag it down to like, let's say I get down to 20. You see, if I do one, two, three, and then select and drag it down, you see it copies it up to 20. And then I can say those are the top class. So they are the names for the top class. And then you can copy that and paste that for students if you are streaming. So I'm going to do an example where we're not streaming. Where we want to evenly give a bunch of top, middle, and, and, and low students in all of the classes so let's say I'm not going to do it that way so let's delete those numbers so let's allocate the numbers again so what I'm going to do now is I've got all the top students now let's say I've got three teachers in my that I need to distribute this these classes to or let's say four so I want four teachers that you four rather so four teachers so this must go to teacher one two three four one two three four if you get the idea if you do it like that then every teacher will get an even number of top middle and, and bottom students so I'm gonna say one two three four so there we go one two three now if I copy all of that down if I drag it down do you see I made move my cross till the it becomes a black cross and then I can drag it all the way to the bottom boom now if I go all the way to the bottom you see it didn't actually go one two three four I just went one two three four five six and now that's not what I want so I'll go all the way to the bottom and say, oh, what have you done? Oh, well, that's not actually what I want to do. I actually want to paste it. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to, when I copy it all down, you'll see this little thing appears at the bottom here. Once I let go of the, once I let go, do you see this little option over here? Autofill options. I don't want to copy the full series. I just want to copy the cells. And if I do it like that, then it copies one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there we go. You can also, if you want to, you don't have to actually go all the way to the bottom. What you can do as well is when you double click on this option, you can copy it all down and you'll see the option still there, 
and you can still just copy all the cells and then you go one two three four so we've done step one where we sorted by the criteria we've done step two we've allocated numbers now you don't have to do step three you can just go you can we can go straight to step four where you sort by a particular number so all the ones all the twos all the threes i like this new step three that i've added just to so i can see which teacher is allocated to which uh, number so what i'm going to use is i'm going to use what's called a choose formula so if i say equals choose and the way it works is you give it a number so let's say i'm going to give it that number and then you give it values so if it's for if i'm the first teacher then i'm going to put mr long as the first teacher and then for two i'm going to put miss short and for three i'm going to put dr middle and for the fourth teacher is professor Y, not professor x professor Y. So those are the four options. A one is Mr. Long, a two is Mr. Short, a three is Dr. Middle, and a four is Professor Y. So saying choose what the value is, there's where we're going to get the number from, and there you have your list of options. If you obviously got six teachers, then you will have six options written over here. And by doing that, and then I can just double click on this and it'll copy it down, and there you can see all the numbers have been allocated, things like that. You could also list your teachers somewhere else. So let's say I listed the teachers over here, like Mr. Long, Mrs. Short, uh, we said Dr. Middle and Professor Y. So you could also write a list of teachers there and you could say that's a one, that's a two, that's a three, and that's a four. And by you just redo your formula. So let's redo it equals choose. Still want that number, but you want the first option to be that block, and then the second option to be that block, and the third option to be that block, then the third, fourth option to be that block. By doing that, you get the exact same results. The nice thing about this little option, okay, oh, when I copy that down, I must actually put uh, dollar signs around those. So I'm going to put dollar signs. So it keeps those numbers. So the way you put dollar signs around them, you just click on the cell, and you press an F4 around the the cells with the names that's a little trick that you can do so that's a little more advanced little trick if you do that so look at the formula f6 that's we want that block but but all these ones the ones over here those are the ones that we put dollars around when we i, I just press f4 boom and it puts the dollars around it by doing that and i copy it down now it'll work what's nice about this method is that later on if you i'd say okay uh, mr long actually doesn't want class one he wants class two so then you can say miss short and Mr. Long have swapped, um, and that'll automatically do this part for you. So that's the, the, if you want to include the teacher name or if you've got teacher codes that you want to do, you can do that. So that's step three. You don't have to do it. You can keep it as numbers and then just give sheet like class one to a particular teacher, class two to a particular teacher. So that's step three. As I said, it's optional. Now we are going to sort it by the teacher or by the, the number. Either one will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this data. Let's give it headings. Let's give it, uh, let's give it a number there. And this is teacher. Teacher. So you can use either one. So I'm going to now select everything like we did earlier. Select all of this. And now we're going to go back up to the sort. I want to go up to the top so we can see. So we're going to sort it. And remember I said get used to going to custom sort. Now this is what I'm going to do. We've got our data as headings. So I don't want to sort it by the average anymore. I want to sort it by the teacher. Or if you haven't done the teacher code, you can sort by the number to get into num one, two, three. Either one will work. And we want from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to add a level. And now I'm going to add alphabetical orders to it. So I'm going to sort then by surname from A to Z and then also add a name. So if two people have the same surname, then sort by name. So that means it's going to give me an alphabetical list for each teacher. So you went sort custom, sort by first the teacher that you want to allocate each teacher individually and then for each particular teacher, then sort by surname, then by name. And by doing that, I now have all Mrs. Short at the top here. And you'll see it's all alphabetical. And then the moment we get to Mr. Long's class, they are sorted. So there we go. That's how you can distribute it nicely. And if you want to, you can do the fifth step. You don't have to. But what I would do is I can go, then go and I can go, hey, I'm going to copy all of this for Mrs. Short. Go to Mrs. Short. I'm going to copy it. And then when I come over here to uh, make a new tab, I'm going to make this tab called Mrs. Short's class. And you can go and you can go and paste I'm going to paste the values so it doesn't paste the formula. So paste the values, make it nice and big. 
and then you can get all of your details like that for your one class and then you can go and copy the exact same thing now i'm going to copy mr long's class this will be my class for this year there go out to mr long there, there it is boom and i will copy it and i will then make a mr long mr long class tab and then i will put this over here and i will paste the values remember paste the values because otherwise it's going to have funny formulas obviously i don't have the headings like i do so i'm going to copy the headings come back here to yeah and i'm going to paste the headings and what you'll notice you see it goes from five my class goes from five until 42 where this class goes from five until 42 you see how the classes all have the same number of students in so there we go and then you could do for each class individually so that's how i would break it up into different classes you can use the choose formula you don't have to that's a little bit more advanced if you have the ability to do that, do that. If not, then just keep it as one. You can say class one, class two, class three, and then you can print all of these mark sheets. You can make them look nice and pretty, and then you've got all your classes divided as you need. So that's a nice way to evenly distribute your classes so that you've got lots of top students, middle students, and bottom students all distributed. So it's a nice even spread of students in your classes, and each class will have relatively the same number. And if you want to add, edit it from there, you can edit individual classes manually over here if you want. But there we go. Those are the five steps that I recommend if you want to divide a class up. As we said, first sort by your criteria. Remember, we selected all the data and we went and sorted it by the average. So we wanted the average to all the average or by the math mark, whatever you want. Then you allocate numbers. Remember, it was one, two, three. And then when we copied it, remember when we copied it, we gave the option to copy not that up, but when we when we copied it, we copied just the this the remove it. We went down, we gave the option to copy cells, and then we allocated teacher codes if you want to using the choose formula. Then we resorted it again, but this time according to the teacher and then by the surname name, and then you can copy each individual list. There we go. That's a summary of everything. So I hope you can now distribute your classes evenly. For more tech tips that can help you in the classroom, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, share this video with your friends, your fellow teachers, so we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.